God is sitting back on the throne and is just waiting for us to take over the world. Why? Because he gave it to us before. He gave us the world. He gave the world to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians and told you to rule it. Told you to control it. Right. Told you to bring everything under the subjection of God. Right. Did we do it? I don't know what transpired before I came, but but I know I know repentance when I see it. First, you hold that and give me Matthew four seventeen, right? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you what you just did. I got a bunch of stuff running through my head right now. First, read that. Read, read Matthew four seventeen real quick. I want you to listen up, bro. I want to show y'all something. Read Matthew chapter four verse seventeen. Yeah. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, "Repent." The whole reason that we're out here. Is because Christ is asking us, he's telling us we gotta repent. Right. It is time for us to repent and come out of these ways that we've learned in America. We gotta change from that. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, I don't know what happened before I got here. I don't know. I, I, obviously, you was teaching or whatever you was dealing with the brother, but I'm gonna show you what you just did. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter 19. Right. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart Apparently you were sitting over there Because the, I saw you sitting in there But apparently it, it, it was in your mind As you was listening to the scriptures come out The scripture says what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart Your heart is your mind Something provoked you to say You know what? Let me go apologize to this brother Something did that You know what did that? The spirit of the Lord did that That's the, right. spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord did that right there Right Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Our whole job is to come correct you in your errors. Guess what? Somebody corrected us. That's why we're standing right here today. Right. We would not be standing here able to go through these scriptures and read what we're able to read with understanding and give that to you if somebody had not corrected us. We was the same niggas over there breaking the Sabbath day, smoking, drinking, buying and selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. That was us in Purple Church right here. But somebody had enough love for us to come out here and to teach, for to raise us up and to help us realize that we are the sons of God. Right. We're God's chosen people, that we're brothers and that we have to repent and come out of this world as it has designed us. Because the, this is a design. You see this right here? You see how people buying and selling? This is a design. It started when you was a child. It all started as a kid and you and, and when, when did grandmama mainly go shopping? On what day? Saturday. On what day did grandma, did, did baby mama go shopping? Friday, Friday what? Friday. When, when they when they got what? When they got paid. Right. When they got paid. That's why the majority of our people we are inclined and it's designed in us to break the Sabbath day because somebody knows and understands that if they can get us to break the commandments of God, the longer they can get us to do that, the longer we stay in this condition that we're in. Right. That's why you get paid on Friday, so that you can have money in your pocket and pay bills on Saturday, buy groceries on Saturday. Right. But if we don't tell you this, and you continue to live like this, then you continue to live in sin. This information, this is precious information. Right. Everybody ain't gonna understand that they're the Israelites. Or that they're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Some of us want to continue to be, they want to continue to be niggas. We want to continue to be beat down, the beat down version of what they've done to us in the society. But here's how we fix that. Read. Luke chapter four, the chapter 12, verse 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. You're looking at the servants of God right now. All this purple out here, we are the servants of God. We are here to serve the black community that has not been served in hundreds of years. Never by these pastors that are in our community. Right. You go straight down this road this way or that way. You'll run into five churches in five minutes, and I guarantee you, none of them are teaching the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man that they're God's chosen people, right. that they're the Israelites. Right. You're only hearing that being taught here in Columbia by the servants of God. Read right. again. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. We are the servants that understand Lord's will. Come on. And prepare not himself. But if we don't prepare ourselves, how do you prepare yourself? You prepare yourself by studying. Spa. 
like our bishop says, study, pray, and apply God's laws to your life. That's how you prepare. Prepare for what? Prepare for the destruction of America. Prepare for the destruction of this world and the rising of your world, brother. We neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So if we don't prepare ourselves and we know the will of God, you know the will of God says? Do you know the will of God? What is God's will? God's will is to save all the people. It's to save all the people on earth? Yeah. So who are we going to destroy if he's going to save everybody? Satan. Who is Satan? The devil. Who is the devil? Lucifer. Who is Lucifer? <laughs> you see that? That's, that's what church taught us. Right. But I'm going to show you something. So I want you to listen to this. Read it from the top. And that servant which knew his Lord's will prepared not himself and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So the Bible says the servant of God that knows God's will, but you don't prepare yourself, you're going to be beaten with many stripes. Read on. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much, excuse me, for unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall much be required. I think I wanted the one in Ezekiel. The one I want, I think, is in Ezekiel. But I'm going to show you something. You're looking at the servants of God. Ezekiel's the Bible says if we don't prepare ourselves by study, praying, and applying, God is going to beat us with many stripes. But it's our job to help you get prepared, to help you get prepared. But I'm going to show you what the will of God is. Give me that in Psalms. Read. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. So now you're going to learn what God's will is. His will is... What? Read. Yea, thy law. What? Thy law is within my heart. Now, what's your heart? What is your heart? Get up. This? Yeah. Okay, that's your, that's, that, that's your final answer? Uh, I, mean, I mean, the heart is with you, how you love, what you care about. Okay. What's the heart, sister? What is the heart? The heart? Yeah. When the Bible says, the, the scripture just said, thy law is within my heart. What is... So if the law is within his heart, where is his heart? No, nope. just think about it. It's not, it's not a trick question. What is the heart according to the Bible? All right, let's, let's learn. I'm going to show you. Because what, what, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the covers off of the lies and deception that Christianity has placed on our minds. Christianity make us say stuff like, well, who God's going to kill? He's going to kill Satan. He's going to kill Lucifer. He's going to kill the devil. Well, who is it? Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it an animal? Is it a fish? What is Satan? Is it a spiritual uh, the, uh, spook that just floats around? What is it? I'm showing you what Christianity has done. Read what you got. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. For from within. Now we're talking about what is the heart. It says from, from within. Out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men. What? Proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts come out of the heart of men according to the word of God. So what is the heart? Where do, where, where do thoughts come from? It comes from your mind. No thoughts come from this vessel that pumps blood. All it says is a vessel. It pumps blood to the various parts of the body, throughout the body. That's all the heart does. It ain't got no feelings, no emotions. It ain't got none of that. It is a muscle that is used to help you live. So the heart, what the Bible is talking about, is your mind. You hear that, sis? So read it again. For from within, from within, out of the heart of men, out of the mind of men, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts come out of, come out of the heart, the mind of men. Let's see some of those thoughts. Read. Adultery. Adultery come out of the mind. Can adultery come out of the heart? If you know that you're married, but this sister flirting with you, and she want to lay down with you, where do you make the decision to lay down with that sister at? In your mind or with this muscle? In your mind. Evil thoughts, come on. Fornication. Fornication. That's sex without marriage. Read. Murders. Murder comes out of the heart, which is the mind. Come on. Death. Death come out of the mind. If you go in that store and steal right now, where did you get that thought from? Out of your heart? The muscle? Or out of your heart? The mind? out of the mind. What I'm showing you is that when the Bible makes reference to the heart of men, 
is talking about the mind of men. Now go back to that in Psalms. Read it again from the top. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. We're still talking about the will of God. David says, I delight to do your will, O oh God. Your will, your will, O oh God. Come on. Yea, yea, thy law, the laws of God. The laws of God is within my heart. The laws of God are within his mind. So sis, what is the will of God? To do God's what? What's, what was in his mind? God's what was in his mind? God's will or God's right the law. The law. The law. There you go, sis. The law was in his mind. So it is God's will for us to keep his laws. That's the reason why we went into slavery. The reason we went into slavery is because we broke God's laws. This didn't happen to no other people, nation of people on the planet Earth. It only happened to the people that God gave his laws to. Now, because you said his, 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 his will is to save the whole world. Did God give the whole world his laws? Sister, did God give the whole world his laws? I want you to think about when Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. When he brought the children of Israel out of it, you know the, you know the story with Charlton, what's his name? Char, Charlton Hester, the, the, the so-called white man, about Moses bringing the children of Israel through the Red Sea and taking them into the wilderness. Who did Moses speak to in the wilderness? Was it the whole world? Who was it? It was only the children of Israel because he didn't bring the whole world out of Egypt. I'm going to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto the whole world. Unto all Israel. Unto the so-called white man. Unto all Israel. The Chinese man. Unto all Israel. The words that Moses spoke were to the children of Israel. That's all that Moses brought out of the land of Egypt. Because guess what? The whole world couldn't have, he couldn't have been talking to the whole world. Because the whole world was not in Egypt. He had people scattered all over the world, right? So Moses only brought the children of Israel in a multitude out of Egypt, not the whole world. So when he brought them out of Egypt, what did he tell them? Let's, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. This is what Moses told the children of Israel when he brought them out of Egypt. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. It but it shall come to pass. He told the children of Israel, it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God, you Israelites that we that I just brought out of Egypt. The Lord commissioned me to go back to Egypt to bring you out because of the oppression that you was going through under Pharaoh in Egypt. Now this is what God is telling you. Read. To observe. You must observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Hold on. Commandments. Statutes fall under what? God's what? What's up sis? Commandments and statutes fall under God's what? What was in David's mind? Under, what was in David's mind? The law. The law. God's commandments and statutes are his laws. He told the children of Israel what? Read it all from the top again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told Moses to tell the children of Israel, I brought you out of Egypt. Now I'm telling you to keep my laws, statutes, and commandments, or all of these curses are going to come upon you, and they're going to overtake you. Let's see one of these curses, that if it identifies us, or if it identifies the whole world. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Look at your flyer, sister. Look at the front of your flyer. Look at the very front of it. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. On the flyer, what does that look like? What is that called? That's, going, that's called slavery. It's your sons and daughters being given to another people. That's, that's what that is. That's your sons and daughters being given to another people. Question for you. Did that happen to the whole world? Did that happen to the whole world? 
slavery, that slavery right there when it, it happened to the whole world? Okay, I'm a, you think he did? What does the Bible say? Show me, show me, show me one picture in history. Have you ever seen one picture in history, in school, ever, of the nation that we call the so-called white people, of them in slavery? Have you ever seen them in slavery? Is there ever a time recorded on the earth of the Arab people being in slavery? What about Chinese people? What about Japanese people? No, it's not recorded in the history of them going into slavery. But guess what? Your slavery is recorded in the Bible. What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example.